What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you another video, this time it's going to be another grounded tutorial, but instead this is going to be showing you how you can get the Salt Morning Star recipe, where to find that, and how to unlock the chest that you will find it in. Firstly, you're going to need some items for this, it varies depending on whether you have uh, ventured to the sandbox before or not. If you haven't, then you're going to need 12 silk rope, a insect hammer, and any form of bomb, and also a black ant shovel, but if you have already gone to the sandbox, you're only going to need the black ant shovel. So guys, now that you have crafted the things you need, you're just going to want to follow the path I take. Be mindful, it does take you through the haze, so bring gas mask if you haven't turned off the haze, but if you have, you're obviously just going to be easily able to travel through here i know i'm going to build over this little uh, ravine thing here but i believe if you just go down into it you can go back up again and then you should be able to find where i build over to and then follow the path from there Once you have reached this exposed pipe landmark, you're going to want to take a right directly from there, and then I'll show you where this is on the map in a sec, guys, so feel free to pause then. So, guys, continue on the path you were going, which is right of the exposed pipe, and then you are going to reach this place where there's going to be a Bombardier beetle, some rocks, and a big shovel. This is where you'll need the... Splat bursts or brat bursts if you haven't been here before and then you're gonna come round the This other side of this shovel and there's gonna be a rock there if you go close to it It's gonna say cracked rock requires explosive So you're just gonna want to throw your bomb or drop your bomb right by that rock It's gonna blow up as you can see it's gonna drop the shovel down and then you can make your way up to the picnic table If you guys just follow the path I take it should lead you to the next kind of Bit where you are going to require something next you're going to require the insect hammer to get through this next section and then the silk rope only if you haven't been to the sandbox before if you have then you don't need to worry about this part and i'll put a time stamp on when you can skip past this For some reason guys there's always a bee here that will attack you obviously i'm in creative right now so it's not going to attack me but be mindful of that and then if you attack the bee that attacks you back the other bee is going to attack you so it's a bit of a hassle but you should be all right as long as you have decent gear and you know what you're doing when fighting certain insects up here is where you're going to need to use the insect hammer. There's going to be, on this red button here, there's going to be a prompt that to use the insect hammer to knock it down. And if you just do that, you should hopefully not fall down like I have. You should be able to go up and just walk across that handle of the lunchbox, whatever that is. And then you will be on the higher level of the picnic table.
Now guys, once you are at this little zip line, this is where you're going to need the 12 silk rope to connect it to the sandbox. You're just gonna go across here, and then from here, I'm gonna show you how to actually get the thing. There's no more traveling now, other than obviously the small trip to this certain obstacle in the sandbox. If you just follow the path I take up to this uh, yellow shovel here, this is where you're going to need the black ant shovel to dig up this melted moat key, and then that's what's going to let you unlock a chest which will have the recipe for the Salt Morning Star in it. Over here there is also a base that needs the assistant manager keycard to get in. In there there is the ant hill, sorry not the ant hill, the sandbox burgle chip and it will have a little plan on a whiteboard that shows you how to do this. It says you need to come here at 3.30 because that's when the shadow is casted, like, and in the handle of the spade in that part of the shadow is where you can find the treasure. However, you do not have to wait that long because the treasure does always appear there. It's just difficult to find if you don't know where to look. So that's why it recommends that you wait till the shadow casts over it. But if you go to exactly this spot on the map, you will be able to find the buried treasure at any time of day. I'll show you where it is on the map uh, about now, but yeah, as you can see, we don't need to wait till the shadow is casted. It's always there, and it's exactly there on the map, and if you want to just start digging, you will find the melted moat key right here. As you can see, it is there. You're just gonna want to pick it up and then follow me again to the sand castle, as you can probably see. Uh, then there is a moat around the side with a chest in it, as you probably already know. You're just gonna follow me through there and I will show you where the chest is and the rewards inside. It's not just uh, the waterlogged recipe. I think there is a milk molar in there as well, so that can help you guys get some upgrades as well. As you can see guys, the chest is right here. Once you've opened it, there is gonna be a milk molar inside and the waterlog recipe. Once you pick up that waterlog recipe, it should say in the corner of your screen that you've unlocked the recipe for the Salt Morning Star. I'm in creative, so I've already unlocked all the recipes, but other, if you're on survival, which you are most likely going to be, it will say in the corner and then you'll know you have unlocked it and done the right thing. So if we go over here and craft the weapon, I'm going to do a little demonstration on some ant lions. Uh, keep in mind, I'm going to be doing it when the weapon is level zero, so, and you can upgrade it up to seven more times, where it does, I think, 85% more damage, which is pretty insane. It's a really good weapon as it is, but with that level of upgrades, it's going to be pretty insane. So, as you can see, it always has salty on it, so when you upgrade it, it's only going to be upgradable to mighty. But as you can see, it does pretty good work for a level zero weapon on a, an antlion, and it's one of the antlions in the dens, which have significantly more health. It is taking care of it in about, I'd say, 10, 15 seconds. I haven't counted, but as you can see, guys, it is pretty quick, and I am going to be testing it on a just burrowing antlion that just lives around the sand pit, and it is going to do still a really good amount of damage and take care of it even quicker. So there you go guys, that is the tutorial on how to get the Salt Morning Star weapon in Grounded. Uh, if you find this helpful, please subscribe, it helps a lot. And also just like, subscribe if you enjoyed the tutorial. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.